Let's start with a story. So, once upon a time, there was a billionaire. This guy had reached the true elite. He'd achieved epic results in both his professional and personal spheres. He became the kind of person you can't help but admire. Someone who you knew would leave a positive legacy for the world. So, what was his secret? Did he have a natural talent that helped him succeed? No, it wasn't natural talent at all. So, were his accomplishments the result of hard work and grit? Actually, no, not that either. And so, as you may have gathered from the title of these blinks, this billionaire attributed all of his success to a simple yet revolutionary morning routine. Every day, a billionaire would rise at 5 a.m. And after waking, he'd follow a little-known formula designed to turbocharge his mental focus, build his physical fitness, and encourage him to be his best self day in and day out. Would you like to know what his morning routine was? Sure you do, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And I'm here to share it with you all. And in these blinks, I'll take you through the main ideas of Robin Sharma's The 5 a.m. Club. I'm more of a 5.30 a.m. person myself, and trust me, it wasn't always like this. In the summer, it's 5.30. In the winter, more like 9. Just all depends on the sun, and I train myself to do it. But I see the appeal, and that's why I'm here. So, let's begin. In these blinks, we'll follow the fictitious tale of a curious group of people. There's a depressed entrepreneur in need of revitalization, a frustrated artist trying to refuel his creativity and develop a legacy, and third, a billionaire with a string of successes behind him and a desire to pass on the knowledge of how to live an extraordinary life. And so we meet our three protagonists at a personal optimization conference addressed by a legendary business guru called the Spellbinder. And so the Spellbinder is somebody known for his ability to weave magic and captivate his audience with the power of his insights. After the Spellbinder's awesome speech, the billionaire approached the entrepreneur and the artist. He didn't tell them that he was a billionaire. In fact, He had disguised himself as a poor man, a habit that he had developed to remind himself that money isn't everything. The only clue to his actual wealth was his expensive watch. The impoverished looking billionaire told the artist and the entrepreneur that he had made a fortune thanks to the spellbinder, who had taught him that while many people wish that extraordinary things will happen to them, Truly elite performers learn that they can make extraordinary things happen themselves. The entrepreneur and the artist became more and more curious. So who was this mysterious man who talked like he was a guru? They listened intensively as the billionaire explained how the spellbinder had taught him one thing that was more important than anything else. And his secret? It was this, the most reliable way to generate the best results in your personal and professional life is to build a world-beating morning routine. But the billionaire wasn't done yet. Being a generous man, he made an incredible offer. If the entrepreneur and artist wanted to come hang with him at his beach house in Mauritius, he would teach them the secrets of a world-class morning routine. All they needed to do was meet the next morning at 5 a.m. The entrepreneur and the artist were a little skeptical the next morning, but their skepticism soon faded away when a chauffeur-driven Rolls Royce came around to collect them. The chauffeur delivered them both to a hangar containing a sleek ivory-colored private jet. The jet bore the logo 5AC. The entrepreneur asked the chauffeur what the logo meant. The 5 a.m. club, he answered. And so they began their journey toward understanding a revolutionary morning routine and a whole new outlook on life with the potential to transform everything for the better. 
Early the next morning, the billionaire told the entrepreneur and artist how getting up at 5 a.m. was the way that he had learned to escape mediocrity and achieve greatness. Getting up at 5 a.m. had promoted his creativity, doubled his energy, and tripled his productivity. His audience was a little puzzled. Is that it? They asked. How can getting up at 5 a.m. be so instrumental in your success? Well, the billionaire told them, many true greats throughout history, from novelist John Grisham to composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, have understood that the isolation that comes from getting up at 5 a.m. has what he called a multiplying effect. All of us have limited mental capacity, or cognitive bandwidth. And throughout the day, our attention is given to more and more things like work, the news, interaction with others, and social media. And our bandwidth gets used up by all of these things. And so by lunchtime, we can't really concentrate on anything at all. In other words, by constantly shifting our focus from one thing to another, we end up giving nothing enough attention. But if you get up at 5 a.m., you have a golden opportunity to focus on one high-value activity without your brain getting distracted. And this focus is further enhanced by the concept of transient hypofrontality. Yeah, that might sound complicated, but in a nutshell, it just means that at 5 a.m., you are well-placed to achieve a state of flow in your thinking. As the billionaire explained, when you are enjoying a peaceful 5 a.m. start, the brain's prefrontal cortex, the bit of the brain which handles rational thought, basically, it temporarily shuts down. So your tendency to analyze and stress and worry about things is impaired. And at the same time, the peace of daybreak stimulates the production of the neurotransmitters dopamine and serotonin. The result of all this is that you naturally enter a state of flow, of being fully energized, focused, and in the zone. As most of us already know, flow is the elite mindset that all top performers from violinists to scientists inhabit in their finest moments. So you'll find that if you get up at 5 a.m., you'll be more focused and more productive for the entire day. The entrepreneur and artist spent more time with a billionaire. And on a dazzling morning in Mauritius, all three of them gathered by the sea. A school of squirrel fish swam through the crystal clear waters. And in this beautiful setting, the billionaire recounted the four focuses of the great history makers. Those who'd made a huge impact on history, those who changed the world. Firstly, he said, the greatest people are defined not by their natural talent, but by the extent to which they capitalize. The billionaire explained that self-discipline and perseverance always trump talent and giftedness. So rather than thinking you don't have what it takes, capitalize on the gifts you've got to make a difference. Secondly, Freedom from distraction is key. Too many people today waste hours on addictive but hollow technology and social media. If you want to win, you need to focus, simplify, and concentrate. That means becoming a purist. It means concentrating on a few amazing work projects rather than many good ones. And in day-to-day -day life, it means stripping out everything that distracts you from a relentless focus on what's truly important. So, turn off your notifications and cancel pointless meetings. They're taking you away from the activities that really add value. Thirdly, the truly great understand the power of day stacking. That means that small things done daily are way more important than big things done once in a while. Consider enhancing one ability or skill by just 1% every day. It's a small change, but over a year, it amounts to a 365% improvement. 
Finally, the billionaire shared the final focus of history makers. Personal mastery practice. According to psychologist Anders Ericsson, a person must invest at least 2.75 hours of daily practice in a skill for 10 years for the first signs of an elite level of mastery to appear. That is 2.75 hours of daily practice for 10 years until you can become a master. So if you want to master yourself, you should spend your first hour each morning working deeply on you, your mindset, and also your approach to health, spirituality, and love. The entrepreneur and artist now understood much more clearly how the truly elite stay ahead. And so the billionaire said it was time to take things to the next level. It was time for them to understand how to cultivate their best selves. How often, the billionaire asked the artist and the entrepreneur, how often have you heard a guru talk about improving your mindset? I mean, we hear it all the time. Think optimistic thoughts and you'll improve your life, right? But the billionaire explained as he strolled along a white sandy beach with his pupils, what these gurus don't tell you is that your mindset is just one of the four interior empires. If you're only working on your mindset, you're ignoring the other three areas, the health set, the heart set, and the soul set. Your heart set, that's your emotional life and well-being. It's important because even with a world-class mindset, you just can't deliver intellectually if your emotional life is a mess. As Sigmund Freud noted, Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and they will come forth later in uglier ways. So focus on a healthy heart set and you'll soon feel the difference. Your health set refers to your physical health. One of the key ways to get ahead in life is longevity. As the billionaire jokingly pointed out, you can't be a titan of industry if you're dead. Committing to optimal fitness allows you a couple of extra ultra healthy and productive decades to build a greater legacy. What's more, elite performers realize that every day becomes far better with exercise. It ignites your energy, dissolves your stress and expands your joy. But even that isn't enough, as there's another interior empire to cultivate. Your soul set, the billionaire continued, that's your spirituality. Too often, everyday life pulls us toward the superficial and the material. So take some time in the quiet moments of the early morning to remember who you truly are. Bond with the hero inside of you. In the silence of the dawn, meditate on what you have to offer the world. Focus on your soul set and you'll reconnect with the best part of yourself. The entrepreneur was amazed by these revelations. They excitedly told the billionaire that this framework really changed their perception of themselves. But they wanted to know more. How could they use the first hour of the day to effectively apply these learnings? The billionaire said, that they were ready to hear about the 2020 formula, but not in Mauritius. Nope. They'd have to leave the clear blue ocean behind. And they were headed to the eternal city, Rome. It was time to be inspired by the passion of the Roman people, the city's architecture, and its divine food. The billionaire, the artist, and the entrepreneur stood in the square at the foot of Rome's famous Spanish steps, taking in their surroundings. It was, you guessed it, 5 a.m. It's time, the billionaire said, to learn how you can transform your creativity, performance, utility, wealth, and productivity. Just rising at 5 a.m. alone won't do it. 
You could rise at 5 a.m. and waste an hour scanning social media and checking messages. That's not going to optimize your day. What will put you ahead is the 20-20-20 formula. It states that you use 20 minutes to move, 20 minutes to reflect, and 20 minutes to grow. The billionaire then began diving deeper. Step one is to move, to perform vigorous exercise for 20 minutes. What's really important is to make yourself sweat. And that's because sweat gets rid of cortisol, the hormone of fear. Sweat generates the protein BDNF, or brain-derived neurotropic factor, which repairs brain cells and accelerates the formation of new neural connections. And so by sweating for 20 minutes, it literally means that you'll be thinking faster. Next up, make 5.20 to 5.40 a.m. time for reflection with a period of deep peace and solitude. Before the complexity of the day emerges, reflect on what's most important to you. In an age of distraction, of constant notifications and messages, you'll be amazed what visions, dreams and inspiration drift into your mind when you have a few moments of silence to yourself. Write these thoughts in a journal. Commit your current ambitions, the things that you're grateful for in your life, and your frustrations and disappointments to paper. Doing so will help you understand your vision and let go of toxic negative energies. Take a few minutes to meditate. Research shows that meditation helps lower cortisol, reducing your stress. It's a proven way to stay calm and the great performers of the world are always calm. Now it's time for the last 20 minutes of your first hour. Here you need to grow. And so take 20 minutes to learn. Study the lives of great achievers by reading their biographies. Learn about human psychology. Watch documentaries on innovation. Or listen to audiobooks about business building. One thing every billionaire has in common is a love of learning. So there you have it. A perfect morning routine to make the hour your own and become a true member of the 5 a.m. club. As the city of Rome slowly came to life, the billionaire, entrepreneur, and artist ventured down to the depth of the city. As they descended down a dark and dusty tunnel, the billionaire announced that they were in the catacombs, underground passages used as burial grounds by the ancient Romans. The artist asked why they'd gone there, and the billionaire explained that they were surrounded by people in a centuries-old slumber. So it was an appropriate place to discuss the importance of deep sleep. Research has shown that sleep is one of the key factors in predicting life expectancy. How you spend the last hour of your day is almost as important to peak performance as how you spend the first. Too many people today are in a state of sleep deprivation driven by technology. Research shows that the blue light emitted by our devices reduces levels of melatonin, the chemical that induces sleep. Being in front of a screen before sleep will prevent you from sleeping properly. So turn off your technology no later than 8 p.m. Spend the rest of the evening talking with loved ones, meditating, having a relaxing bath or reading and go to bed no later than 10 p.m. That way, you can truly maximize the value of your 5 a.m. wake-up time. Sleeping isn't the only important way to rejuvenate yourself. In fact, a key to top performance over time is to oscillate between periods of passionate, focused work at the highest levels and periods of time for deep refueling through relaxation, recovery, and fun. It's a process that the billionaire calls the twin cycle of elite performance. Growth happens not just in the performance phase, but also in the recovery phase. If you want to understand why, said the billionaire, talk to a farmer. He'll tell you that there's always an intense period of tilling soil, planting crops, and serious work. But after that is the follow season. 
The follow season might look like a period of rest. It looks like nothing's happening. But really, it's the follow season in which the soil is resting and replenishing its nutrients that predicts how well crops are really going to blossom. Some of us don't like to embrace the rest part of the twin cycle. The entrepreneur recognized this, saying that if they aren't working, they feel guilty. But as the billionaire replied, balance is important. So don't just work. Embrace rest, relaxation, and fun, safe in the knowledge that it's a key part of elite performance. This is the secret to success, the secret to becoming a history maker.